The Rich Eisen shows that there could be higher register <laughs> take of the week. Chris, you go first. You go first, and then okay. TJ, and then uh, and then I'll bring up uh, the rear here. What do you got over there, Chris? Go for. All right, I'm a fan of the Boston Celtics. That's uh, no secret. Yes, indeed. We last won a championship in 2008, so it's so it's been a while since then. We've made a lot of moves, a lot of trades. Danny Ainge has acquired a ton of draft picks, okay? It's also free agency time, so it takes me kind of back three years ago. Uh, made the trade for Kyrie Irving, convinced Gordon Hayward to come and reunite with his college coach, Brad Stevens. Uh, got Al Horford in a big coup, signed him to a big contract. Mm -hmm. All three of those guys, not on the team anymore. Been a lot of draft picks, but who have they actually drafted? Made a great move for Jason Tatum. Jalen Brown's turning into kind of a superstar, but not a lot of home runs in Danny Ainge's draft class over the last dozen years or so. And But I got to tell you guys, I, I still believe in Danny Ainge. Mm. <laughs> I, I still believe he's going to bring Banner 18. Oh, my gosh. So I, I, I still believe it. You don't believe in Danny Ainge anymore? Yeah, he does. He does. I still, I still believe in Danny. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna get oh, another, we're gonna get another banner someday. Oh gosh, we win one for Tommy Hudson. Oh, what do you have over there, TJ? Right, Whoa, Rich, listen, oh, listen, guys. I know they say nobody wants to hear about your fantasy football team, and that being said, you're gonna hear about my fantasy football team today. <laughs> um, I'm in a pretty competitive league. Okay, you know, right now I'm in a three way tie for second place at six and four. I'm doing pretty well, but. Doing just well isn't something that I'm interested in, Rich. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I want to be great. I need I need to be great, guys. So I made a move. I'm an Aaron Jones fan. He's great. He's a friend of the show. Yes. Love him. But I need to make a Steph and Clay type splash. So even though this man is currently about to miss his second straight game and his eighth game <laughs> overall, <laughs> I decided, like, it's CeeLo or craps. I decided I'm going to roll the dice and hitch my wagon to Christian McCaffrey, Whoa. to the Christian McCaffrey train. Now, Brockman feels like it might be a risk because what if Carolina decides to shut him down for the year? Okay. Then you can change my name to Saran because it's a wrap. But I have faith in Run CMC, and I think that, you know, Christian McCaffrey is going to finish the season strong and lead me to my fourth fantasy championship. Very good. I, I like I really it. do. Your fourth fantasy championship. My fourth in 20 years. By the way, by the way. I don't mind hearing about his fantasy yeah, team. Yeah, I don't either. No, 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 no. I don't mind hearing about he your fantasy team. called me when he made the trade. Oh. I did. Uh, I called yeah, I, I, Chris I, and Kate. I Chris and might, Cage were having I, a walk one day, Rich. I think you might be right. I think you might be honest. <laughs> I had to make a move, man. So before yeah, the season, yeah. I uh, I said Seattle was going to win the West. We yep. said the Colts were going to win the, uh, the, the South yep. and the NFC and the AFC, respectively. So here we are through 10 weeks plus one game and looking pretty good. Bad. The one that I kind of, you know, said about the Ravens, I, I, I went higher register on last week. Didn't work out. Mm. Um, I think the AFC North is going to be Pittsburgh's. Yeah. But the other one that's out there, they used to be one and five. After beating Dallas, they'll be five and five. Uh oh. And Green Bay's got a tough game against Indianapolis here. And you always throw the records out when they take on the Bears. Are we going to skull clap right now? I'm basically saying this. Maybe the Minnesota Vikings can win the NFC North. <laughs> Maybe they got a shot. Maybe Kirk Cousins is playing and Dalvin Cook can win the MVP award because he's just running all over everybody. I'm very high on Justin Jefferson. You saw the defense become together. Get together. Harrison Smith came up with a pick last week. Maybe the Vikings have a shot at the NFC North. Kirk finally won a prime time. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, one last thing is, Maybe you don't sound like the name of Rain Wilson's fantasy team every time you say you're higher registered, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're pulling something over there every time you go higher register. I don't know. I'm just happy to make it through higher register at this point without you guys just like <laughs> no, crapping all on me. No, that's no, 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 no. That's a bold move. I feel like I, I like finally that. made it. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.